Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the ceremonial procession and remain standing for the national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. Guest of Honour, Mr. Tan Kuang Chik, Chief Executive Officer, Agency for Integrated Care, Professor John Tong, Deputy President, Academic and Provost SIT, Ms. Rachel Sanderson, Deputy Vice Chancellor, External Engagement and VP External Relations, University of Glasgow, Professor Dame Muffy Calder, Vice President, Vice Principal, Head of College of Science and Engineering, University of Glasgow, Senior Management and Representatives from Singapore Institute of Technology and University of Glasgow, donors, industry partners, distinguished guests, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to graduation 2023. Today we celebrate the accomplishments of our graduates. Our guest of honour this afternoon is Mr. Tan Kuang Chik, Chief Executive Officer, Agency for Integrated Care. Mr. Tan will now deliver the graduation address. Mr. Tan, please. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. Professor John Tong, Deputy President, Academic and Provost, SIT. Ms. Rachel Sanderson, Deputy Vice-Chancellor, External Engagement and Vice-Principal, External Relations, University of Glasgow. 
Professor Dame Murphy Calder, Vice Principal and Head of College of Science and Engineering, University of Glasgow. Esteemed faculty members, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and most importantly, all of you, graduates from the SIT, University of Glasgow joint degree programs in nursing and computer science, as well as your family members, loved ones and friends. I'm really happy and honoured to be here with you today to be able to celebrate such a joyous and monumental occasion with all of you. I would like to first extend my heartiest congratulations to all of you graduates and of the SIT class of 2023 for the successful completion of your university journey. Today marks a significant milestone in your life and it is indeed a privilege and an honour for me to share this celebration with all of you. At this point, for completing this significant milestone, achieving this uh, you know, uh, uh, important sort of achievement, I think all of you deserve a great round of applause for all of us. Congratulations. I would also like to thank and commend your family members and loved ones for supporting and motivating all of you to reach this achievement. Can I also ask all of you graduates to join me in thanking your parents, your family members and loved ones who are here today who are so instrumental in you reaching this significant milestone. Let's give them a round of applause as well. I must also thank the faculty members present here today for being the guiding light and for teaching, developing, and guiding you in learning and excelling. It will again not be possible without the support and the guidance of the faculty members and lecturers, as well as the other supporting staff members of SIT. I do think they deserve that round of applause from you as well. Thank you. <laughs> SIT is a key partner for the Agency for Integrated Care, which is an agency under the Ministry of Health, focusing on empowering and helping our Singaporeans and seniors to be able to live and age well in the community and at home. I would like to thank the university for their support, their partnership, as well as the guidance in terms of not just developing our next generation of talent that's so necessary for us within healthcare and community care, but also the next generation for Singapore. I am happy to note that today, SIT offers over 40 undergraduate and postgraduate degree programs, some jointly with key overseas university partners, such as the University of Glasgow, and the university has steadily increased its annual undergraduate intake to around 3,300 today. And as I was sharing with Professor Tong, I do hope my own son, my son is uh, 20 years old this year, just enlisted uh, in national service after completing his polytechnic study. I do hope that after he finishes his national uh, service, he will be able to enroll in the SIT as well. So I give notice in advance to uh, Professor Tong. <laughs> but he will have to qualify on his own merits, of course. Uh, today, we live in an uncertain world. There are many changes, many developments, many uncertainties. We also see different developments in countries around the world many of which, of course, worries us as a nation and society. But also as we look forward, you know, as we think about and deal with the challenges ahead, I thought it would be important for us also to focus in terms of the hope, optimism, but also, you know, what you actually bring to the future for all of us. For those of you who are graduating for the nursing program, I really want to thank you for joining us on this journey to be able to care for others. That you yeah. So they deserve a round of applause. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm really, really appreciative and grateful as a Singaporean, but also you know, as the head of the Agency for Integrated Care, for you in terms of choosing a path that embodies compassion, resilience, and a commitment to care for the well-being of others. The skills and knowledge and values that we have acquired will make an impact on all of our lives. Our purpose is a, com uh, is a common one to help Singaporeans live and age well and have the quality of life that we all would like to have. 
at all stages of our life, particularly towards the last stage of our lives. Last year, the Ministry of Health has announced the shift to preventive care with Health SG to keep Singaporeans healthy and to empower them to do so. More recently, he has announced H Well SG as a complementary national program to help seniors age well and be supported both at home and in the community. So all of you will be playing a key role in terms of achieving the outcomes of Healthy SG and HYSG, but more importantly, helping our Singaporeans, our seniors, and all our loved ones to be able to live the quality of life, to be able to be healthy, to be engaged, and to be able to age with dignity. And so whether you're in a public health care institution or in the community care sector or in the private sector, your role is critical in providing the person-centred care for Singaporeans and supporting our healthcare system. It is an exciting time to join the healthcare industry now, and I look forward to working with all of you to help Singaporeans live and age well. For those of you who are graduating from the computing, computing science program, you are graduating at a special time. And so digitalization is a key global trend impacting all facets of our lives. And with Singapore moving towards a smart nation, with digitalization as well as technology playing such a key role in healthcare and community care where I worked in, your expertise will help play a big part in shaping Singapore in this area. And for healthcare, as you know, technology will reshape the way we deliver care, making it efficient, accessible, innovative, and making care available to all of us who needs it. And whether it's developing technologically advanced equipment, improving data security in healthcare, or enhancing telemedicine solution, your skills and knowledge will be instrumental in improving the delivery of care in Singapore. And so as you can see, my speech is quite geared towards uh, encouraging you in the computing science program and graduating today to join us in healthcare as well. But of course, you know, there are other options that you are considering, other sectors that will make an impact. As you graduate and embark on your next phase of life, starting out on your professional career, I thought today I'll just share quite quickly three learning points for, for me and in my own professional and personal journey through public people and private sector. And, you know, as I sort of reflected on my own journey and what I've learned, and as I deal with uncertainty, changes, you know, challenges that's to come, and hoping for the best for the future, there are four anchors that I would like to share with you that I thought would at least provide some word of advice as you embark on your own journey, as you shape out your own future, be able to impact on those around you, and also care for your family members. Uh, they are so important to, to you as well. And these four anchors, just to share, firstly, you know, even in a very complex, fast-changing, fast-developing world, firstly, the first anchor that I've found that's important is to find a purpose in your life and work. It's not easy, and it has taken me many years to find that purpose, but this purpose has enabled me to actually move forward, motivated me, allowed me to say, no matter how hard it is, you know, our work, the impact that we have, does contribute to something that's bigger, that resonates with me, and that it is something that's important, you know, even as I embark on my own professional sort of journey and changes as well. So firstly, would I encourage you to find a purpose in your life and work. Secondly, the second anchor that would like to encourage you to actually have in mind is to continue to learn, unlearn and relearn. So even as you complete this very important milestone in your uh, journey, and embark on your career and your profession. I think it's important to bear in mind that uh, the value of learning continues. So do continue to have the spirit that you need to learn, unlearn, relearn, and to push your own development and knowledge, even as you start work, even as you embark on your career. And this is vital, as you know, in the fast-changing nature of the world that we live in, the sectors that actually we are going to be in, as well as dealing with the challenges to come. You must embrace these challenges with open hearts, open minds, and be able to continue to learn and develop in ways that will enable you to continue to make a difference to others. Thirdly, 
And the third anchor I would like to encourage you to have in mind is really, uh, even as you uh, find a purpose, continue to learn, unlearn, relearn, I think it's important to be able to take care of yourself and the loved ones around you. It is going to be tiring at times. Well, there will be challenges that you have to go through and uh, issues that you have to overcome. But as you embark on this journey as well, remember it is important to take care of yourself so that you are able to achieve that purpose and care for others. And so having a close, happy family as well is crucial for me on my own journey. I want to encourage you as well to have that as you embark on your journey. Lastly, and the last anchor I'd like to offer to you is even as you find a purpose, you continue to learn, unlearn, relearn, and take care of yourself and your loved ones around you, you can and you should look at ways that can help to make the world a better place for all of us. It's again not easy because as you start your professional journey, you'll be focusing on how do you contribute, impact, and be able to develop further. But it is a piece of advice that I've gotten when I attended a talk by the former US President Obama who said that we all have the ability to make a difference and to make the world a better place for all those around us. And for you, I think it's important that you dare to dream, have the, have the courage, but also you know, the ability to say that you can make the difference to people around you and help to make Singapore a better place for all of us in the longer term. And so that's what we do in the Agency for Integrated Care. We work really hard, but we are helping our seniors and Singaporeans to live and age well in Singapore. We don't view it as just a challenge, but more positively as our desire to help Singaporeans and seniors to be able to live well, live the quality of life that they would like to have, be with their loved ones, and be empowered to do what they love to do. This is what we we'll want for ourselves, what your parents will want as well, but also what we will all want you know, at their face in our life. This drives us, the purpose, as well as what we do, and continue to do so. And so, lastly, I want to again congratulate each and every one of you for your remarkable and uh, important achievement today and your graduation and hope that as you go forth you'll find a purpose you'll continue to learn unlearn relearn care for yourself by your loved ones around you and help to make the world a better place for all of us thank you so much Thank you, Mr. Tan. Professor John Tong, Deputy President, Academic and Provost, SIT, and Ms. Rachel Sanderson, Deputy Vice Chancellor, External Engagement, and VP, External Relations, University of Glasgow, will now present the prizes and certificates to the graduates. Professor Tong and Ms. Sanderson, please. May I present the graduates of whom the degree has earlier been conferred, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, recipient of the National Healthcare Group Outstanding Student Award in Nursing, Mohammad Nabil bin Bakhtia. Recipient of the Chong Yuk In Book Prize in Principles and Practice of Population Health, Lao Chia En. Recipient of the Singapore Nurses Association Book Prize in Honours Thesis. Teng Xin Lia. <laughs> Ang Rong Zi. Ang Roy Xuan. (Applause) 
All One In Charlotte. Cassandra Lim Sien Hui. Chai Yun Si. Chen Hui Yun, Valerie. Chong Le Nam Ng Chi Yun Shanice. Chua Yi Xuan. Claudia Lim Kersin. Lemon Ching Chi Xiong Colisa Wee Jiari Denise Wee Jing Wen Ida Min Min Tat. <laughs> Alfira Binti Isra Sham. <laughs> Emmeline Xia Jia Wen. Ng Swan Ting. Yun Shu Yong. Grace Lim Hui Zhen. Kyu Xuan Tong, Alisa. <laughs> Heng Wei It. <laughs> Ho Hui Wen, Jolene. Ocean One Hazel <laughs> Huang Yan Fang <laughs> In Sira Binti Norman. Ivan Chu Jun Yao yeah. 
Janet Ong Yan Hua, Janine Ong Jia Ning, Joan Wong Zhen Ying, Joel Chen Yong Xuan, Joey Kong Yu Ting. K. Hima Prabha, daughter of Rajasika. Karen Ng Hui Chi. Kek Hui Yi. Ko Jin Tong. Ko Jun Han Charlotte. Lai Piu Yen Daniel Marie. Lau Ka Man, Joyce. <laughs> Li Lei Wei. Lee Lin Faith. <laughs> Leong Jia Yi. <laughs> Liu Ying Tong. Lim Jia Min Jasmine. <laughs> Lim Jing Yi Badel. Lim Shi En Daniel. Lim Ting Xuan. Lim Su Jun, Clarissa. Lim Yen Tong. Lim Ye Yi, Lin Ye Yi.
Makasiro Nicole Dan Diane Larumbi. Matia N. Yo Ying Xuan. Mavis Teo. Muhammad Ashan Sayyid bin Azran. Muhammad Haikal bin Muhammad Sayyid. Nu Hena Binti Hamid. Nu Ifa Daimira Binti Saimi. Nu Sabrina Chua Binti Muhammad Taufik Chua. Nuru Adriana Binti Etna. Nuru Izati Binti Muhammad Yusuf Sahab. Nuru Sabrina Binti Sawani. Nuzru Ayman bin Kamarodin. Ong Renzie Gifford. P. Priyanka. Priya Dashini, daughter of Ghanisan. Rainy Tam Jiawen. Rebecca C. Weezi. Rivlin Neng Wengzhen. <laughs> Saya Binti Abdul Malik. <laughs> Sabrina Lim Shi Rong. Sai Salishwari, daughter of Vindyanan Das. Sharon Kao. Sharifa Sayabra Binti Sayyad Zainuddin. <laughs> Sh 
Shamila Castillo Sundararajan Shazana Binti M.D. Shah Cheryl E. Sing E. <laughs> Sim Si Wei Moses. <laughs> Siom Wen E. Wendy. Sophie Nu Hanina Binti Nor Hisham <laughs> Swa Wen Hui <laughs> Tan Jia Sin Tan Si Ying Christabel Tan Yo Yi Tay Siu Bun Tay Wei Liang Tio Min En Wong Jia Min Shermaine Wong Ting Rong Wong Shi Hui Rina Yi Sing Yi Faith Yo Ji Fen Jalin Yo Li Yi Yue Man Yen Jermaine May I present the graduates of whom the degree has earlier been conferred, Bachelor of Science in Computing Science, recipient of the SIT Keppel Gold Medal, Chia Yixuan.
recipient of the Blue Five Group Book Prize in Machine Learning, Chiu Song Ching Ivan. Abdul Hadi bin Zaidi. <clears throat> Abram Nico Saro Obligacion. Ahadiyat Abadi bin Rawi. Aloysius Wong Jun Wei. Ang Bun Tat. Kendrick <clears throat> Ang Jing Wei <clears throat> Ang Wei Xiang Ang Yi Fei Anna Mary Wynn Brendan Tan Wen Yi Tsai Zhao An Calvin Kui Tsi Hao Tan Yu Chi <laughs> Charleston Tan Yi Lin Chiu Pei Xuan Cheng Jun Jie Jeremy Chong Yuk Lung Benedict Chua Ming Hui Fabian Clement Ong Kian Vern Komia Ezra Yoshua Kabate
Aysen Raina Bagalat Perdido. Alicia Chan Min Yi. Eliora Kong Yun Yen. Farman Faki bin Jamaluddin. Fu Chi Yi. Gan Chen Min. Gary Tan Jia Yao. Go Yan Hui. Jermaine Wong Wai Chin. Go Bun Chun. Go Suda Andy. Go Chang Yi. Gu Jin Ming. Huang Jia Shu. Jini O Jun Ning. Josel Audrey Luktu Cusit. Jody Mo Kai Ting. Jonathan Young. Josia Tang Kai Eun. Kenji Leong. Kenzo Hari bin Muhammad Yusuf. Ko Sun Tek.
Lord's way. Lilin. Leong Jing Hao. Liani Aslam. Lim Chun Yu. Lim Jun Sien. Lim Yong Ting. Liao Hui Jia Karin. Lo Kai Hing. Lo Zhong Han Savior. Madeline Tong Jia Chi. Muhammad Taufik bin Muhammad Tajuddin. <clears throat> Moses Ban Ren Hao. Muhammad Akmal bin Muhammad. <clears throat> Nathaniel Xia Yu Kang. <clears throat> Nyo Kai Jie. Ng Denison Ng Tain No way on. O Jun Jie. Ong Yuan Lin. Ong Zhen Yu Brandon.
Ui Jun Kai. Un Chi Meng. Pang Xie Zheng. Pe Jia Yi. Pe Jun Yi Jarvis. Hua Kia Kai Reggie Chan Lu Jie Seng Wei Jun. Xiao Pei Ting Evelyn. Sean Liao Ping. Sim Tai Yu Sim Po Kang Sebastian Sim Wei Jun Austin Sam Yuan Lung Shabil Sudarman bin Salamat Tan Jie Lin Tan Tek Jun Tan Tian Hua Tan Wei En Tan Yong Tat Tang Kin Leung Tae Wei Jie
Teng Tsuying. Hong Chuck Wai, Derek. <clears throat> Sui Sao Chi. <clears throat> Varat Harajan Jayapriya. Wong Jia Jin Wong Jun Hao Wong Jun Jie Xavier Chin Jiala <clears throat> Yong Chen Hong <clears throat> Yu Chang Hua And Tseng Xiaorong Jasmine. All right. This concludes the presentation of graduates. Thank you, Professor Tong and Ms. Sanderson. Ladies and gentlemen, the awards presented today have all been made possible through the generosity of our donors. To our donors, thank you for your thoughtful philanthropy. Your support has encouraged and inspired our students as graduates to continue to seek excellence wherever they go. The valedictorian for this ceremony is Mr. Chia Yixuan. Yixuan will now deliver the valedictorian speech. Good afternoon to our distinguished guest of honor, Mr. Tan Kwang Chiek, Chief Executive Officer, Agency for Integrated Care, Professor John Tong, Deputy President, Academic and Provost, SIT, Ms. Rachel Sanderson, Deputy Vice Chancellor, External Engagement and Vice Principal, External Relations, University of Glasgow, Professor Dame Malfi Calder, Vice Principal and Head of College of Science and Engineering, University of Glasgow, esteemed faculty members, families, friends, and fellow graduates. I stand before you today with immense pride and gratitude as the valedictorian of the Computing Science Cohort at the Singapore Institute of Technology and the University of Glasgow. My name is Yixuan, and I embarked on this incredible journey with the aspiration to delve into the realm of technology, innovation, and problem solving. Today marks a special day in our lives, and none of this and us would be here today without the unwavering support of our loved ones, friends, dedicated professors, mentors, and academic staff from SIT and the University of Glasgow. Your, your guidance, encouragement, and belief in us have been the pillars of, of our success, and from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for being the wind beneath our wings and being here today with us to celebrate this moment. So can we have a round of applause for all of them? From an early age, I was captivated by the world of computing. The allure of creating software that could transform lives and industries was irresistible. 
The computing science degree program provided the perfect canvas for my aspirations. Throughout my time at SIT and the University of Glasgow, I have nurtured my passion for computing, driven by the conviction that technology has the power to shape a better future and, know, and the know-how to apply it in practice effectively. Additionally, I have realized that this journey is not merely about acquiring knowledge, it is about cultivating a mindset that thrives on innovation and dedication. Our journey at SIT and University of Glasgow was marked by challenges that tested our resilience and determination. From complex coding assignments to rigorous project deadlines, we have encountered setbacks that sometimes seemed insurmountable. Yet, in the face of adversity, we rose above. The COVID-19 pandemic brought upon unexpected disruptions, but we adapted, learned to collaborate virtually, and emerged stronger. The stories of our resilience during these times will be etched into our me memories forever, and these experiences have shaped us into the individuals we are today. And SIT and University of Glasgow education is more than just classroom learning. It's a holistic experience that molds resiliency and instills strong values of integrity and uh, resilience. The unique applied learning curriculum coupled with the integrated work study program and the overseas immersion program at University of Glasgow, Scotland, has equipped us with real-world perspectives. Through the IWSP, we had the opportunity to immerse ourselves in deep learning and industry experiences, attaining a comprehensive understanding of our industries and at the same time, honing our skills and networks. Besides this, embarking on the Overseas Immersion Program at the University of Glasgow gave us a diverse perspective and global perspective. We stepped out of our comfort zones into a foreign environment, collaborated with our students outside of our degree programs, and immersed ourselves in their unique cultures. It was definitely an eye-opening experience for me, studying and learning at one of the oldest universities in the world that produces various great people and Nobel laureates. The many practical projects, industry collaborations, and IWSPs that we have engaged in have bridged the gap between theory and practice. This has opened many doors for opportunities and expanded our network with industry professionals, setting us apart as graduates who are ready to contribute meaningfully to the industry from day zero. The University of Glasgow has definitely been a launchpad for me into the working world. Collaborating with industry partners such as the VMware Tanzu Awards and joint lessons with VMware and Dell Technologies led me to learn more about the industry and what they do, which aligns with my passion. That led me to reach out to potential employers in the industry and has contributed significantly to where I am today as a cloud native architect at Dell Technologies Singapore's cloud native architecture team, tackling industry problems with cutting edge technology that drives digital transformation and uplifting Singapore's cloud native multi cloud ecosystem. The diverse and stimulating experiences have fostered a sense of connection and community among us, gradually shaping us into world changers aligning with the University of Glasgow's mission and values. Additionally, engaging in co-curricular activities enriched our personal growth, fostering leadership, teamwork, and time management skills, to name a few. The citizen DNA ingrains in us a commitment to innovation, resilience, and empathy, qualities that will prepare us forward in our careers, fulfilling the learn, unlearn, and relearn values embraced by SIT. Being both a citizen and a graduate of the University of Glasgow means embracing a community of diverse individuals united by a common purpose. It upholds the values of integrity, lifelong learning, and a commitment to continuous improvement. It's not just about the education we have received, but the sense of belonging to a family that will contribute and continue to contribute and support us long after we leave this house today. As we step into the world beyond SIT and the University of Glasgow, let's remember that learning is a lifelong journey. Embrace change, stay curious, and keep honing your skills, for the world is ever evolving. Stay connected with our alma mater. It's a network that will provide opportunities and lifelong friendships. And most importantly, let's commit ourselves to giving back to the society, using our skills to impact the world positively. In conclusion, let us celebrate our achievements today and look forward to the boundless opportunities that await us. Congratulations, Class of 2023. We are future innovators, problem solvers, leaders, and role changers. Our journey is just the beginning, I have no, and I have no doubt that we will make our mark in the world. Thank you. Thank you.
The charge to the graduates is given by Ms. Rachel Sanderson, Deputy Vice-Chancellor, External Engagement and VP External Relations, University of Glasgow. Ms. Sanderson, please. Well, graduates, yes, <laughs> distinguished guests, friends, um, let me take this opportunity once again to warmly welcome you to this very special day. A graduation is a special and powerful occasion the culmination of years of study, dedication, and hard work. It's a day full of celebration and joy. And on a personal level, can I just say what a pleasure and privilege it is to be here with you today to celebrate your achievements. And I know these past few years haven't been easy for you. And I'm sorry that the circumstances meant you missed out on many personal experiences during the pandemic. But despite the challenges of COVID, you have made it here. And for more than a decade now, our partnership with Singapore Institute of Technology, SIT, has seen over two and a half thousand graduates take the step that you all have just taken. But very few achieved what they did whilst meeting the unprecedented challenges faced by your generation of students. And graduating from the University of Glasgow and SIT is an accomplishment anyone and everyone should be proud of. But to do so while adapting to new ways of learning and working together whilst dealing with the stresses and anxieties and often feelings of isolation that so many of us have felt over the last few years is truly inspiring to see. I am incredibly proud of your achievements, of the determination, resolve and strength of character each and every one of you has demonstrated. And I know that your families, friends and loved ones gathered here today are also so proud of everything that you have achieved so far. So let me invite them to join me in congratulating you, our graduates, with the biggest round of applause. And whilst this is your day, it is very much about you, our graduates and your achievements, let me also ask you to take a moment to think about the people who have helped you to get to this point. Whether family or friends, carers, school teachers, lecturers, tutors or anyone else, whether they are here with us today or not, please join me again in thanking them for their help and support over the years with another round of applause. And having acknowledged you are graduates and your supporters, I also want to pay tribute to my colleagues today because our graduates wouldn't be sitting here if it were not for the commitment, the adaptability, and the sheer hard work of each and every one of my colleagues. So thank you very much. Yes, they also deserve a round of applause. Now in Glasgow, we have a phrase, people make Glasgow. And anyone that has joined us in the city for OIP will hopefully recognize that phrase. And in my experience, the people you meet at the University of Glasgow and SIT embody everything about that notion. As well as being talented, inspiring individuals, our students, our graduates, our colleagues are welcoming 
and they are compassionate. And in today's climate, we should be proud to say our community cares for one another and we have a truly international outlook. We're proud of our reputation as an inclusive, welcoming and civic institution existing for the benefit of citizens across the world. And so whilst you close this chapter of your life, you're embarking on a new season. Indeed, some of you will have already gone on to begin your careers, to move to a new place, or may even have taken this period of time to reflect upon what you want to do and where you want to go. And of course, there will be challenges. But as you have so conclusively demonstrated, you can rise to those challenges and you can succeed. We have many pressing global societal challenges from renewable energy, communications infrastructure, new digital economies, the role of automation and AI, to tackling climate change, gender inequality, access to education, and eradicating epidemic disease, and simply improving the quality of life through our understanding of what it means to be human. And as a graduate of SIT and the University of Glasgow, endowed with knowledge and expertise and critical thinking skills, you have a responsibility to make your contribution. In fact, we're counting on it. And as a graduate of both universities, you are very well equipped. We talk of Glasgow as being the world-changing university and SIT being a leader in applied learning. So you have the capabilities to be world changers and to be leaders of your generation. And finally, as you leave us, I hope that you will stay in touch. We want you to tell us about your achievements and we want you to come back and see us and remain connected. I hope you will hold the University of Glasgow and SIT in your thoughts as you embark on your future careers because you will always remain a part of our community. Your story is woven into the fabric of our great institutions. You are already world changers. So graduating cohort of 2023, once again, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Anderson. Dear graduates, as we come to the end of today's ceremony, we extend our congratulations to you and warmly welcome you to the SIT and University of Glasgow alumni family. Once a citizen, always a citizen. Congratulations to class of 2023. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem and ceremonial recession. <laughs>